Hello everybody and welcome back to Map Quest: The Portal Crystals. In the previous episode, we um, explored around Stonewall Village and we bought the deed to our house. So we can actually get in the house 26 now, which is our ultimate goal. Um, thank you all so far for the, for the support on the series. I think we're doing pretty well. This is shaping up to be a pretty high viewed um, series. If you guys like what you see, be sure to drop me a like, be sure to drop a subscription, I appreciate it. Be sure to hit the little bell down below to stay up to date on what I'm doing. And hell, comment if you really want. Oh, hey, look, I live here. But in this episode, we're going to explore the house a little bit. We're going to get into the well, and we're going to get our first portal crystal, gosh darn it. Let's go. All right, house is mine. I should check upstairs and the vault before I go back to see Leroy McGregor. First things first, though. Since this is now going to be my base of operations. Perfect charcoal. I'm gonna get some fish cooking. There we go. Vegetables I'm not a fan of. Water. I'll drink that and then store the bottles. Interactive world map. This will come in handy later. I would like to old man's chest. Hey, look at that. And my bow. We're not really going to use the bow very much. Interactive world map. Let's see what it has to say. Heading to Haybell Village, you should visit the interactive world map. It shows towns, names, and even where all the code fragments. All the code fragments are. Remember, if lost, just follow the grass path and signs. Good information. Down to the vault. You need to find seven code fragments to open this vault. You'll find them throughout your quest. Each time one, each time you find one, it will be remembered when you come back. I bet the barrier, actually, yeah. Yes, it can actually be accessed from this vault. The portal area can be accessed from this vault. I get too much further here. Interactive world map, yep, good with that. I would like to make a deposit. I want to shove a few things. So this is basically going to be my base of operations now. If I have like excess stuff, I'm going to sh I'll be sorting through constantly. Claudia's quest, I will bring that along. I'll shove that over there cuz I know what I'm doing. So a little bit of organization here. Rare cocktail. I will keep that. This I'll keep off to the side here. Excess arrows I won't need. Bottle trader. I'll wait until I have a few more before I go back to bother him. Eh, I'll bring two of these. Why not? I've got tons of them. I probably won't even use all of them. I'll keep two here at home. Oh, better go upstairs here really fast. I think there's some loot up here. Yep. Hey, look at that. Seven one in the main hand. Eh, nah, I won't use it. Money bag. Uh, tips and info for if you need to know. Um, there are 30 portal crystals. You'll need 15 to beat the map. Although, um, if you do all, if you get all 30, you get a special ending. Um, there are hints. Um, nearly everything can be interactive with. Yes. Dishwashers. Search everywhere. If lost, look for signs. Um, or watch this playthrough. Oh, hey, this is good information. When you see this symbol, it's a code fragment. Near a quest, near or a quest can be started for a code fragment. If you see this symbol, a portal crystal or a quest for a portal crystal will begin at that location. Or be near that location. I'm just going to do one last thing here. Did I get this chest? Yes, I did. I'm just going to converse with the banker here temporarily. Let's get some currency converted over. I'm not going to explain right now, not because I don't want to, but because it's just going to be easier, but you're going to want to keep about two stacks of silver coins on you, because I believe you're going to need to buy some shears, and I have, the only place that I have found so far to convert currency is over here at this banker, the most convenient one anyways, is this banker. So now that I have my bow, I have arrows, let's go speak to this fine gentleman in house 24, nope, nope, not house 24. This fine gentleman. Yo. 
You got the bow, now you are ready to enter the wall. Or enter the well. The secret to the The secret is to walk clockwise around the wall once and the entrance will open. Remember, stay on the gravel path and walk one full circle around it clockwise. Oh, main quest six. So let's head over there. So as you can see, here's that symbol. That means that there's going to be a portal crystal in here. Now we're going to listen very carefully here, because this is kind of cool. Boom. The Stonewall Village Well. In we go. Oh, already. Assholes. Oh, I can't wait for a better sword. There it is, button. There we go. As you can see, these are kind of the standard enemy that you'll encounter in this game, or like these kinds of, um, reskin zombies. But as you can see, in small numbers here, I didn't exactly, you know, you don't exactly strain yourself to kill them. That's not the point. As you can see, Got a gate here. There's no way of getting through. Not yet, anyways. Let's do this. So, as you can see here... There it is. So, as you can see here, there's no way to click on these picture frames. That's because this set over here... need Or this set of pictures need to mirror that set of pictures. So, we'll start here at the top. This axe needs to be upside down down. That needs to be upside down. This needs to be off at like I'd say that's five, four, four thirty, four o'clock or something like that. Up in that corner. Let's drop this one down in that corner. And all I'm doing is this mirroring that image over there. Okay, that's good. This sword needs to be straight up, and this one needs to be for that way. The way opens. I don't remember what else is down here. I swear there was, ah, there he is, a uh, grim look. That wasn't too bad. I remember the first time I was playing through, I came through this corner like this, and he was right there and attacked me. Scared the crap out of me. And, look at that. Our first portal crystal. I can leave this place now and work your way to the hay bale village by going through the pine forest. Just follow the signs. While venturing through the fine village, you may find tree elves, a friendly race. Beyond is hay bale village. The way into hay bale village is, surrounded in mis is shrouded in mystery, but ask around in the houses near hay bale village and you will learn its secret. You got main quest log five. So now it's telling us your next quest would be to enter the seven mages village. However, before you can go there, you must first travel through Pine Forest and speak to, excuse me, the mayor of Haybell Village. Just follow the signs to Pine Forest and Haybell Village. When you arrive, you'll need to speak to the villagers in the houses around Haybell Village to learn how to enter the village and speak to their mayor, who unfortunately is not me. But as you can see now off to the side, we got our score, or how many portal crystals we have. And throughout the game, you'll be able to check your score, and over there it'll display how many portal crystals you have, along with how many code se code fragments or code segments. I forgot to set my spawn point. Oh well. Oh well. Up we go. Now, it's a good idea to just 
put the portal crystals in there so they don't get lost. Because that would suck otherwise. So there's nothing else we need to do in town. I'm going to do one last thing, and unfortunately it's going to be a little bit shorter of an episode. I'm sorry, this is just how I'm going to logically progress things. It is complete like a big objective and call that an episode. So getting our first portal crystal in the stone well, stone wall village well is a big objective. So I'm going to end the episode by taking you to the entrance of the pine forest, and then we'll end her right there. Or actually, I think there's somebody up there. No, we'll do one last little thing then, I suppose. Speak to a few people over here. As you can see, that's my original house before I bought the one in Stonewall Village. But there's a few people that you're going to want to talk to over here that'll kind of guide you along. This is a uh, Wall's house. Hello, I've been waiting for you. South window, please come upstairs. But beforehand, as is usual, rob him completely blind. I'll take the water bottle, however. You wouldn't take from an old man, would you? Of course I would. I'm an asshole. Already headed. All right. So he's got information. Hello, Bleaker. I was an adventurer like you once. I remember searching for the portal crystals a long time ago. My younger days, I had to travel by foot. There are none of these fancy... Ah, shut up, old man. On all your adventures, did you ever find any portal crystals? I did manage to find out one was buried in the abandoned mines in the mountains above my house, but it is also infested with poisonous green spiders the size of you. I, If you go in there one day, I wish you luck. Thank you. He's kind of just a little bit of information for us on where stuff might be located. Also, I swear there was something located in these weeds. Oh well, I'm usually wrong. Last thing, I believe there is a gentleman up top of this, um... Oh, hey. Stuff of monetary value. I believe there is a gentleman on top of this monument whom said some stuff. I don't remember what. Hey, don't give me that look, guys. I have a lot of stuff to remember in this map, and I haven't even done the whole thing. Oi. Oh, there he is. I think he's going to give me some stuff. Hey, use these binoculars in the chest and check out these caves in the mountains behind me. You want to know a secret? There is treasure in those caves. I saw the missing adventurer who lived in House 26 in Stonewall Village come out of there once. You will not be able to reach them from here. Just remember for later when you venture further through the world. Yes, you cannot actually um, get there, which sucks. Because that is too a too high wall. You also can't get to it from that water stream either. Cunning little devil Mick is. I'm just gonna... So that's the That cave has stuff. I don't believe those two caves have anything, but when we do a grand adventuring episode, we'll double check. Whee! Don't land on lily pads. Perfect. And... There's the entrance to the pine forest. Uh, when we come back next time, we'll actually begin our adventure towards Haybale Village. Um, there will be a few segues that we're going to need to do, because, you know, this map is huge and there's just all kinds of random events, like, not random events, there's all kinds of events that'll pop up that we really, that it would be, again, pretty advantageous for us to do. Um, so, once again, guys, I thank you very much for your support on the series. Um, be sure to hit that subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it when you guys do that. Um, drop a like, again you guys would be ballin'. And feel free to interact with me in the comments. Um, I'm usually a pretty fun guy. Usually. I make no guarantees. But that is all the time we have for today, guys. Until next time, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya.